So today I'm going to build a book cover in Affinity Publisher and I'm going to do so by challenging myself to work on a subject matter that I have absolutely zero interest in. Let's go. What's going on everybody? My name is Dave Connery. I'm an artist and designer based in Southern California and today we're working in Affinity Publisher again and we're creating another book cover or magazine cover or something. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be yet. It's a complete surprise to me. I'm going to pick a topic that I have absolutely no connection to whatsoever. I'm just going to do so at random using a random topic generator, and then I'm going to build a cover around that. But before I get into that, I want to talk to you about a guy by the name of Reed Miles. And before I start talking about him, hey, can you do me a favor and hit the like button right now? Because, you know, it's going to help me do the thing more, you know. Please hit the like button. So let's talk about this guy, Reed Miles. Not sure who Reed Miles is, probably not. You probably don't know who he is, you probably don't know his name unless you're like a super geeked out designer like myself. The thing is though, is you've definitely seen his work. If you are a music fan, especially a jazz fan of any caliber whatsoever, you've seen his work. Reed Miles was the lead graphic designer and sometimes photographer for Blue Note Records all during like the 50s and 60s. He created all of the different album covers that Blue Note put out during their time. Blue Note's still around, but he has since passed, and he has left behind a tremendous legacy of design aesthetic that we still use and mimic today. But here's the funny thing about Reed that most people don't know. He hated jazz music. He talked about it all the time about how he hated the actual music, but he was there to do the job, and he did a fantastic job for many decades, and we are better off for it. How does somebody who has absolutely zero interest in the subject matter of the work that they're being asked to do, how do they actually get that job done and do such a fantastic job? I ask myself this very question a lot with Reed's work, and I think it really comes down to one very simple idea. Design fundamentals. The most important thing you need to know about Reed Miles is that he was a Swiss style designer. He wasn't from Switzerland. He just designed in the Swiss grid-based style. All you have to do is look at any of his work, which I will show some right here. You take one look at that work and you can automatically tell that he loves the grid. Reed loves the grid. The work is also very simple, very minimalist, and I think it just goes again with that whole Swiss aesthetic. And he, it just, he exemplifies that. If there was ever an American graphic designer that most embodied the Swiss aesthetic, it would absolutely have to be Reed. Now I'm going to try and emulate that. I'm going to build a cover on a topic that I have absolutely no interest in whatsoever. At least I don't think I have any interest in whatsoever. I haven't even picked it yet. I'm going to build a cover design based on an idea and we're going to build it in honor of Reed. Quick sidebar, there's this portion right here where I was looking through this website that was generating topic ideas and I thought I was recording the screen and I wasn't recording the screen. Just view in your mind of me walking through a, a website where uh, it helped me generate a topic idea and that topic idea became the thing that we're talking about today. I'll do better next time. Starting this by going to this website called Rate Speeches and I just found this particular a uh, generator just you know randomly by searching Google. It's a speech topics generator and if I go here I can change it to the number of speech topics to generate. Uprooting evil, nudity and art, cruelty to animals, wedding dresses, self-confidence, world's top brands, Nietzsche, presidential veto, first hospital in the world. Let's go with Frederick Nietzsche. You don't know who Nietzsche is. He's a you know ancient German philosopher. German? Uh, I don't know. Something? Philosopher. But let's expand. Now it comes up with these sub ideas like how a spouse of Friedrich Nietzsche, historical analysis and impact of Friedrich Nietzsche, news about Friedrich Nietzsche that turned to, out to be false. Well, that's interesting. Would you spend a day with Friedrich Nietzsche or outdated opinions or views about related to Nietzsche? Interesting. I like this last one. Outdated opinions and views that are related to Friedrich Nietzsche. Now, I, again, I don't know anything about Nietzsche. I know, you know, like passing ideas about some of the things that he said, and so I couldn't quote a single quote of his. So that makes this a perfect topic. Come in. I'm just going to use the standard, let's see, oh, six by 11, that's a weird standard. Six by nine inches, that's not inches, that's inches, that's supposed to be 300. 300 DPI, th inches is the document, preferred linked, uh, that's fine. No facing pages because I'm only going to do one page. We're just doing the cover. Everything else is fine. Go ahead and hit create. Before we go any further, I want to talk to you guys about the appropriateness of whatever it is you're designing for. If we're talking about putting this book in a bookstore, if we're talking about putting this book into Amazon, we need to 
uh, grab attention in a certain way. We need to make sure that the cover is actually attractive enough. Yes, I know the whole idea, don't judge a book by a cover, but guess what? We all judge books by their cover, okay? Especially when we're trying to decide which book, we only get to buy one, we only have time to buy one, we only have money to buy one, or maybe two. So we want something that's going to, you know, grab our attention, at least to get enough of our attention to pick up and look at and read further. If you're selling your book in some sort of outlet like that, then you need to be, you know, you need that little grab. You need that something to grab that attention, to get somebody's interest. I mean, we're talking about Frederick Nietzsche here. How, uh, we need to make this super interesting in order to get people to know more about him. Now, if you're just selling your book to people that uh, you know already have a fan base of and you're just gonna sell it to them or at least put it out there to them, then they're not going to care as much about the actual cover design, so you don't have to put as much time and energy into it, or you could be a little bit more outlandish. You could do some really radical stuff and you know do whatever in that respect, and people will buy it from you if you have that embedded group of fans or fan base or whatever and i think that we all have a little bit of that but if we're trying to get a wider scope you know a view of uh, interest from people uh, on a bigger level you may not be selling in barnes and noble you know you may just be selling to self-published your own on amazon kdp and that's fine too that's totally okay so we don't want to put half measures into this we want to make sure we do as much as we can to really grab some attention i just want to interrupt real quick i am literally in the middle of editing this video right now and i just want to let you know that it's long it's a longer one than normal i'm doing this because i really want to get as much detail in here as possible so that you guys can see every step of the way i'm gonna do my best to add Timestamps down below in the description so that you can jump ahead to different spots if you want. So if you're willing to stick with me, I'd certainly appreciate it, but um, jump ahead if you feel like you need to. On with the show. One way it would be super easy for me to just knock this out would be to just go grab an image of Nietzsche and, and you know throw it in there and then just put a title on it and call it done. That would be super easy, but that's not gonna be very compelling. It's gonna be one of these things where it's like, hey, that guy did that for very little time, very little energy, didn't cost much, let's just poop it out and see what we can do with it. But I wanna get a little bit more high concept than that. I wanna go a little bit deeper. In order for me to go deeper, I need to do a tad bit of research on the man because like I said, I know nothing about Nietzsche. Let's dig in. He's a German philosopher, cultural critic, composer, poet, writer, and philosopher, philosopher, philologist? Philologist. I need to look up that word. Philo philology, philology? <laughs> It's the study of language in oral and written historical sources. Oh, I had no idea. So he started his career as a classic philologist. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that word right. Before turning to philosophy. Okay, here we go. Philosophy. Because of Nietzsche's evocative style and provocative ideas, his philosophy generates passionate reactions. His work remained controversial due to varying interpretations and misinterpretations. Okay, now we're getting into the meat here. In Western philosophy, Nietzsche's writings were have been described as a case of free revolutionary thought. Writings have all been described as rev as a revolutionary project in which his philosophy serves as the foundation of a European cultural rebirth. If you want to go in and read some about uh, Nietzsche, go ahead, uh, be my guest. I'll put a link to the Wikipedia page there. But as I went through that, I basically noticed a couple of different things about him. Number one, that there's this pervasive idea of uh, death of God. I think it has to do with uh, his perspectives on you know, where the, where the world would be if God was gone. Also, which is interesting because, you know, he kind of claimed himself to be an atheist. Also, one of the original writers on the ideas of nihilism. And there's like these, these a bunch of ideas about these contrasting, this yin and this yang, right? These opposing forces working towards each other. And so I, I think that there's something here uh, especially in regards to the idea of what we're talking about, about outdated opinions or views about related to Frederick Nietzsche. I just kind of want to toy with this. I want to toy with uh, the idea and I want to see if I can't find some abstract or relatively abstract imagery and bring that in and then we'll start there. In the publisher interface, I'm going to go over to the stock. And now, I, normally I would look in Unsplash, but right now Unsplash is being a little weird uh, in all of Affinity. I, there has been a reported bug and if you're tr figure, trying to figure that out, don't worry about going to the website because they're already, <laughs> there's literally, there's tons of people asking about it. There's a new beta that they're uh, working on right now that where it's already been fixed, at least for the uh, Mac uh, desktop version. Long story short, don't worry about that. We're just gonna go ahead and, and go to Pexels instead. And we're gonna just type in, uh, start with um, opposites. Again, I'm looking for something in contrast, I've also got in the back of my head, I've got this whole idea of nihilism. I've got this idea of the death of God. For a faithful person, religious person, um, don't think too deeply about that. It's more uh, philosophical ideas 
it's not like you know like kill religion or anything like that okay let's be let's not be weird and controversial about kind of interested in this although it a little bit too much uh whoa hello i hate it when i do that let's bring in a image frame i'm gonna drop in this image right here a little bit uh, V for Vendetta-ish, so maybe I won't, or maybe I'll do something interesting with it. Let's switch over to the photo persona real quick. Do this. Yeah, that's interesting. That's sort of interesting. That's a that's an interesting start. I'm not sure if that's exactly where I'm gonna go with that, but uh, we're gonna leave that as is right now. This is interesting. You know, there is this definitely this masculine feminine thing going on in a lot of his work too, so this is interesting. I don't know if it's super compelling, but I like that too. This is something here. What about this? It's a little cliche though. You know, the whole idea of, of uh, the yin and yang, the comedy versus tragedy, that type of stuff that he would talk about. A little too on the nose, I think. Not opposed to it, just gonna keep going. I do like this one. This is a different, this is an interpretation of that. I feel like if I made it a little bit more abstract, like if I cropped it, it did some interesting cropping with that. I'm gonna look through some of these other ones that are in here. Whoa, wow. Not sure. Whoa, how about this one? Oh my gosh. That's some seriously evil looking stuff going on right there. Oh, what do we got here? Hmm. I feel like I'm getting there. Not quite there. Maybe this one instead. This I'm kind of cool with. This is where we're at. I think we're going to use this image right here. So now this right here, I'm not going to use that as the title. I'm going to use that as maybe the subhead. Or subtitle. I got to come up with a title, but I'm 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 trying to think about what kind of work am I going to be doing here. I, I definitely want to use some sort of grid-based design. Obviously, I definitely want to you know incorporate some some um, shapes adjustments. One thing that Reed would do, Reed Miles would do, is that he would drop in like color shapes and whatnot, and uh, put those in there, and just you know. Um, just try to incorporate this kind of abstract idea with a with a splash of color. There's something about this, like the I, I feel like there's this motion going on, like it's almost like this three dimensionality between the person in the front and the person in the back. I feel like there's also this, like for some reason, the shape to me of this box should be different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in, I'm gonna drop in a new color background. I'm gonna leave it as green for now, just so I have a reference to where everything else is at. I'm gonna change that color. It's not gonna stay that way. Or maybe it will. I don't know. We're gonna see. Probably not. So I'm not really digging this shape right now. So I need what I need to do is I need to change the shape of the box. And the way to do that is you, uh, you can do a right click and you can do you can also do it from up here into the uh, the layer palette or whatever or the layer menu. But I'm gonna go right click. I'm gonna go convert to curves, and that kind of changes the frame to curves instead of just a standard box. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this down here like this. And oops, you gotta grab the node, Dave. And I'm gonna put that like that. I'm gonna bring this one up here like that. And then this one like that. I'm gonna bring this way down. I wanna create this dynamic shape. Obviously that green is not right. So I'm gonna change that green just so it's not so distracting. Now that I have this frame reshaped, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit just so we can see a little bit more detail uh, in the different sides of these ladies' faces. And I also, I wanna try switching it, like wrote, flipping it over. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Maybe not. Let's go back and forth with it. I think I like this. I think it's important for me to respect the grid a little bit more than what I've got going on here. So I'm gonna bring these nodes down to represent that grid. It's like I said, the grid was essential to Reed's work. So I wanna have the grid at, at acknowledged to some degree here. This obviously is off the grid. And it's not even, you know, the angle is, you know, it's still obviously angular. It's very linear in its angle. It's not a 90 degree angle anywhere here. One of the things that Reed was famous for doing is also taking, uh, you know, and granted a lot of this had to do with his, uh, the resources that he had available to him, uh, you know, in the 50s and 60s, a lot of black and white imagery. And I think that that's important, um, especially with what we're going on here. I don't really know if we need all this other co extra color, like the color in the, uh, around the eyes. There's enough definition there to give the idea. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go over my photo persona again. Let's go to hue and saturation, HSL. And I'm going to bring that down. Zero saturation. There we go. 
That worked. I had it on the wrong layer. Just, I'm going to, I'm going to adjust the mid tones. Let's go shadows. So I'm just going in and I'm with the, it's not the burn tool, it's the dodge. The dodge tool. I'm just going in and just kind of lightening her up just a bit because she's a little bit too much in shadow. And I just kind of want to give her a little bit more definition. Let's get those mid tones a little bit. Just kind of dabbing, just dabbing a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, back over here into Publisher. So I'm going to take this type. I'm going to align it over here. And here's one of the tricks that Reed would do often. First of all, let's increase the size of this. And I need my Kearney. What typeface we got? Tahoma? That's not going to work. Um, mm -mm -mm. I feel like I want to do... He was very much into... You know what? Accident. Let's go accidents. Do we have it? Do I have it open? Accidents. Do I, do I have it open? Maybe I don't have it open. In that case, oh, we'll just go Avenir next. It's, a, it's pretty Swiss. It's a Swiss enough for me. Change that to bold. Outdated painted. Wow, the color on that's weird. Let's change that to black. I'm gonna get rid of that. Outdated opinions or views about Friedrich Nietzsche. Doesn't seem like a very compelling book title, but whatever. Okay, so here's the thing about Reed Miles. I'm just resizing to get this right. He would bring type in like this, and we probably need to kern it a little bit more, and I'll fix the kerning in just a little bit. But he would adjust this, as you can see, I've got it all left aligned. We do this, but sometimes he would align certain lines to the other side so that you are getting a symmetrical type feel to things. Certain lines would be aligned on the right, and certain lines would be aligned on the left and he would align them not just to the border box but to each other. If I wanted to I would align so let's say Friedrich here. Of course I'm gonna need to make these all on separate lines so I need a hard return. So I'm gonna go to Friedrich here and I'm going to align him right there. I'm gonna align him to the right side but I'm also gonna bring it in and tighten it right up against that T. Of course I'm gonna get his meticulous as I possibly can. As you can see, it's not really aligning because of the gap here. Just for our purposes, I, we've got this border over here. I'm gonna go just use it as a guide for the time being. So I'm gonna bring that there, and that looks like it's right on. It is right on, look at that. And I did that, uh, I eyeballed that. Now a couple of things about this bother me. Number one, this space here is really weird. So maybe that's not the answer. Go back and I'm gonna take that back that way instead. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-break the text, give it an extra line, and hmm, see that's not working either. I think we need to we need to work on this a little bit. This might work a little bit better. Except this line I'm going to take and I'm gonna send this to the right. Oh, let's see that that line's not broken. We'll break the <coughs> excuse me. We'll break that line. Ah! Come on, Dave. So we'll break that line. We'll send this one to the right. And of course, again, not totally lined up. And see, it's not working either. It's not working for me at all either, because now it just looks like it's all right aligned and that's not what I want. Okay, so we're going back 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 this sucker up a little bit more. We did this that word and we moved that one to that side. Except it would be Okay, so now here's the thing about S's and curves, you know, they don't sit, they wouldn't sit right there on the line. That would not be right. We'd get it just a tad over that just looks a little bit more symmetrical. Now the reason I had that's the other way is that there was uh, where the V was hitting that I on that Friedrich or it just wasn't right and then the gap between Friedrich and Nietzsche was weird too. So this feels a little bit better. I feel like I need to do something different without dated. Like maybe, maybe we'll just do something simple like all caps. And then I'll do the same with Friedrich and Nietzsche. 
Maybe I'll, or maybe I'll just frame it up like that. Let's just see what that looks like for now. Not loving it yet. And I wonder if I need to maybe come in here at this angle like that. Well, at an angle. To get it just aligned. I kind of dig about this and maybe this might work. I'm not sure. This may or may not work. I'm gonna try something here. Get a little bit experimental here. So now what I'm doing is I'm aligning still to the grid, but I'm aligning at this slight angle like this. So that way it's still angled to this. And then these are now angled. Now, of course, this is a little bit different. Maybe that's not working exactly. Maybe I can spread that out just for fun. Where would that be though? Let's see, that's a little much. So we just did like that, maybe like, like that. Let's see where I'm at. My type is at everywhere here and just clean up this kerning. I feel like I need to do the same here just a little bit. I'm moving quickly here, but basically I'm just trying to get a right gap between all of these. And this one, I can also do the same or at least similar to that one on the bottom. If you hear screaming in the background that I've got my neighbor kids out there having a good time because they're out of school and happy to be home. Your tiny voices is not just ghosts or, you know, it could be what's going on in my head, but you never know. So now I'm thinking about the idea behind what I'm talking about here and I'm trying to get this view about like what, what color does this represent? Like if we talk about the yin and the yang, we talk about the, uh, the good versus evil, we talk about these things, like what is the color if I were to pick one, what color would it be? And I, I I don't know why it's just like, I feel like I am leaning into like a green or a green blue. I don't know why, but that's just what I'm leaning into a little bit. I do feel like orange as well, like maybe a blue and an orange. I'm gonna experiment real quick. I'm gonna bring in a shape and I'm just gonna bring in a rectangular shape. I'm gonna change it to like a blue like this. It's a really caustic blue right there. And again, trying to line it up best I possibly can. Like I feel maybe it's this, maybe it's like that. Maybe it's right on top. And these come to the top. Oh man, that O is just kind of driving me a little nuts. I mean, the whole thing is kind of driving me a little nuts. In fact, actually, that <laughs> that extra curtain I put in there is driving me a little bit bananas because that's definitely not right. So I don't know. It just I'm a little bit too. Uh, I I just can't have that kind of disparity with the kerning from one line to the next. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change that. Uh, wasn't liking it. Was hating it. Was hating it. I was like sitting there like I'm gonna make this work, but it's not working. So I also noticed that the lines. Um, oops. The the uh, tracking, or not the tracking, the uh, letting isn't great either. So I'm gonna bring that up. Maybe it's the Friedrich that's driving me nuts that I can... <laughs> so inconsistent. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go, I think we're gonna go back. I'm gonna break this back to normal. I'm just gonna take that to zero and put that on zero and put that on auto for now just for now, until I can get it a little bit better here. That Z, not good. That T, not good compared to this I and this. This is why, this is why typefaces like Helvetica, which is what I probably should have used in the first place, just a superior typeface to some, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I do like Avenir, um, but it doesn't have quite the finesse of a Helvetica. 
and you know or something like that or future or whatever they're just there's more finesse they, those the reason those typefaces have lasted the test of time is because they're just solid from from the get so now i just had this interesting thought with what i've got going on here i'm going to copy this and i'm going to just paste and it's basically a second version of that but i'm going to change that color to like an orange i don't know why orange i don't know why don't ask me why i just it just feels kind of right and good I'm also gonna manage this, or rather, I'm gonna try and size this as much as I can to the uh, the X height. And the X height is, you know, if you're not familiar with the term X height, it's basically the height of an X. Like whatever an X would be if I had an X here in front of this, I would measure that to that X. I'm gonna go in later and I'm gonna fix those corners. I think I'm gonna round those off. In fact, actually, I think I just do that right here. I'll do rounded corner right there. And I can change that corner radius. Just like that. There we go. Now here's an interesting thing. I feel like, uh, I think, I feel like I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna paste in place. I'm gonna bring that up here like that. And I'm gonna take this one, and bring it down there like that. Again, I have no, the, the, this blue and this orange have no particular connection to anything I've got going on here. Maybe the colors will be different. Maybe I'm thinking about this in, in the wrong way. Maybe I need to, I mean, I'm looking at the colors as far as like contrasting colors, but I feel like maybe there needs to be some sort of correlation between the color and this idea. And so I'm gonna keep thinking about that, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep that. What I am gonna also do is I'm gonna create a shape. And this is again, just a totally organic, probably not that organic. I'm gonna come in here. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna use that same orange. And I'm gonna turn this into an overlay. Now, those might be a little bit too dark. In fact, I think they are. And also, I don't wanna flip this one because I think it's, if I flip them, I'll probably have to flip them both. So let's flip them both. Whoa. Nope, that's not gonna work. I think maybe I'll just reduce the size. I kind of like it up there, so uh, maybe I go this way. Just change this. So now I think I'm a little bit too tight over here, so I'm gonna go select all these items here. I'm just gonna bring it down and over. Just feels a little bit too snug there. I feel like we're getting somewhere. I think that the image is a little too dark, so I'll probably go back in and touch up that image in a little bit. But I think what we need to do now is we need to work on the headline. And I think I wanna be kind of outlandish with this and just bring in this idea of God is dead. And I know that's, please don't, please don't get weird on me if you're, um, you know, if you're into that. I, I just, it's just, just this, the concept of this philosophies, just kind of mimicking that for what we're doing here. And I'm going to be a little bit, um, I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to push, I'm going to push some, this a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to be a little bit weird with the type. I don't know if that's necessarily a Reed Miles thing. Reed probably would have been very much adamantly keeping everything inside, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm also thinking con from a contemporary standpoint, if you look at some of the contemporary design of things happening right now, like this is, this is a very popular thing where, you know, type is being 
it's it's integrated more as an artistic element into what people are doing and so i'm kind of digging that so if we're trying to intrigue younger readers into this thing then let's let's uh, let's do that let's play along with the with the colors and the type and the you know let's push things to the barriers or beyond now that i look at it again it feels like it's too far away so bring it in a little bit more somewhere in between just that space there was a little weird to me and I, I didn't want it to be as even as these ones are. I want it to be a little bit different. And I think I want to add an author name in here, but I don't want it to, I, I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna scroll down in here into the, let's scroll down into his bibliography. Just come up with a random name. Right there, Michael Tanner. I feel like I need to. Oh, that's oh, see this whole the whole time I'm sitting here using Arial again. It actually looked pretty good there for a second, but uh, let's go to accidents. Not accidents. Let's go <laughs> to Avenir. That was not nearly as interesting to me. Medium italic. It's funny because the. That's all right though. We'll go with that. Not nearly, it's funny because I actually like the italic. Oh, dude, I don't let anybody say I hear I said this, but. Uh, yeah, I actually like the aerial italic better. <laughs> I I guess I can't say I didn't say it because I said it right here. So, but anyway, so back to our, back to our regular scheduled program. Let's go back to, so back to do X Avenir and we'll get it as medium because the other one is me this one appears medium and i want to contrast it let's see i'm gonna keep this to the grid and so the grid here i'm basing this grid on lining it here if you imagine the grid has an infinite amount of lines and and cross lines and whatever and so i'm trying to line it to elements on this page that are seemingly grid like which would be that right right there just like that now where do I put this like where do I put the cover versus that do I line it up here and probably what I should do is I should keep this distance here in fact I'm gonna do that I'm gonna turn this I'm gonna create a box here let's create the color of red just so I know it's different create a box oh geez it's not of course it's not red uh what oh oh my gosh the nuance the detail the little things this is so meticulous but this is the type of stuff we would do when i would work on magazines and we would just get like super meticulous with this spacing so i'm going to take that all right let's go back take our view mode back to uh regular right and now oh that's what happened <laughs> that's okay i'm gonna put this here like that bring it up here like this now this and this we'll get that back to black i'm using rgb colors here i'm not using cmyk uh, if you saw my last video where i went extended into this whole thing rgb colors in a cover design work best on Amazon KDP. So if you're going to sell, publish through Amazon KDP, Lulu, Blurb, one of these uh, RGB images are better for the covers. It's just the nature of the way they print it. It just works better and comes out brighter. Uh, CYK, I couldn't possibly reproduce some of these colors, but um, uh, if I was printing like a traditional printer, an offset printer, I would obviously be working CMYK. It's kind of interesting because that that uh, that red right there, I'm actually kind of digging that red. In fact, I might even change my my orange to that. But this is the distance right here. That distance is this distance. Right, so I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna take this and put that like that. But I'm gonna test this, let's see. I'm gonna pick this color here and I'm gonna bring that color in and this one too. That makes it look very French, but whatever. I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, I feel like I probably could have pushed this image a little bit. In fact, I'm just gonna test it. I'm just gonna see something here. I wonder if 
I could squish it a little bit. mad at that at all I, I'm I may, I'm even thinking about moving it even further and actually getting rid of the dark sides of their faces completely and just making the the light side can that still get that same idea like it's almost like I feel like I feel like that actually works even better like not having that that black sitting there like that. Yeah, I'm actually digging that even more. I'm gonna play with this shape a little bit. Kind of take on her curve of her face a little. Yeah. Oh, see, no, that's not that's a little too close, so bring that up there. Maybe bring that down like that. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this one pretty good. I think that that's probably a little too much. Maybe come down there a little bit. So we don't encroach upon Michael Tanner. I don't know guys, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that just as is. It could probably be tweaked. I'm kind of almost feeling like this, this typeface here is a little bit heavier weighted than this. Obviously it is, but maybe it doesn't need to be. Let's just change that. Let's go back here, oops. Easy, Dave, easy. Let's change this, go back to, I have it medium. Let's go to Demi. I'm gonna need to change that, that one there. I'm gonna create a line, I'm gonna do this, that would go like this, that would go like that. This is again, this is gonna be super organic. I'm gonna make that stroke red, just like that. Take my stroke size and bring it way up to the same size as that thing. And I'll probably have to make some adjustments. And just kind of tweak my shape a little. Definitely have to come up in size just a tad. Let's, let's zoom in. See if I can't get this exact. Or maybe what I need to do is just get rid of, oops get rid of this one and make this one the actual one. Get it down there. Get it down there. I'm trying to work with my pen tool here or with my uh, my tablet pen and I'm not the most adept at uh, <laughs> doing that. Come up in size. There we go. Oh yeah, see, this is, now this feels cool to me. I don't know about you, but this feels pretty cool to me. I don't know if this is good or not, but I dig it, but I'm kind of digging it. I am feeling it. I don't know anything about this topic. I don't know what's actually going on here uh, as far as like I, the content of the book. Obviously it's a totally fictitious book. I, the content of the book would be complete Greek to me. It, it would be just as German as, <laughs> as Nietzsche himself and that's okay right it's okay to do that as long as we have some basic understandings about what we're talking about here if you looked at Reed Miles work and obviously we're talking about music records that's redundant isn't it we're talking about album covers and album covers maybe maybe don't necessarily have to have like a really compelling uh, thought or you know uh, evocative uh, feeling when you look at it, but maybe they do, maybe they don't. And I think with Reed, he just kind of went with his gut on that stuff. And I just was going with my gut on this. And so here we go. I mean, God is dead. Michael Tanner, outdated opinions or views about Friedrich Nietzsche. I don't know if it's a thing or not, <laughs> 
but I just made it a thing. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I would be, I would pl gladly be proud to put this cover up on Amazon or have it be sitting in, you know, Barnes and Noble or wherever. So I don't know about you, but uh, you know, you tell me, you tell me, what do you think about the cover? Do you think, what would I, what would you do different to what was uh, happening here? Or if you have any questions about that, just go down in the comments and leave them there, okay? While you're down there, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And if you think there's anybody who would enjoy watching me go on and on and on about a topic that I know nothing about, <laughs> then share this video with your friends. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Guys, if you weren't here, you missed it last week, I did a live video and I did a step-by-step -step walkthrough all the way through of me creating an entire journal. If you wanna see that video, it's right up there. Also last week on my other channel, I talked about the very controversial, very interesting and very hot hype topic, NFTs, right there. Go check those videos out and I will see you next time. Remember, be good today, be even better tomorrow. See ya.